I don't know about you, but I don't have the patience to let paint dry. So here we, I mean, what are we, broads? I bought a car. It's a piece of shit on four wheels. My wife hates the fucking car. It leaks oil from all of the fucking seals. The lady across the street is a cunt. She calls the town on me when I work on the fucking car. Welcome to my car show, asshole. All right, we need brakes, guys. And to give you a little background history here, car used to have a single uh, master cylinder running through that distribution block that went to drum brakes up front, but now there are disc brakes on the straight axle. So we have a dual master cylinder and we have to install this proportioning valve, which cost us $50, I believe, at the tax. So we gotta figure out a slick way to mount this. I'm thinking about laying it down like this. Ah, uh, where am I? Yeah, laying it down like this. Uh, that way we could just plumb these around. Oh, geez. I don't know. All right, let's see if we got some metal so we can I'm gonna sit and stare at this for a while and figure out how we're gonna mount it. And then we gotta find some metal and uh, make a bracket for this. This thing weighs a lot. Jesus Christ, this weighs, ah, it's gotta be three pounds. All right, is everybody bored to death? Let me make a bracket. that I think will work right here. can mount our proportioning valve to this plate here if that goes all the way through oh boy that's close we might have to extend this a little bit uh, all right we'll figure this out we'll just put this over here like that and we'll cut this right here, like that. This goes away, and like that. Like that, and like, like that. It's a basic idea. Why?
Okay. <coughs> Master cylinder. Goes through here like this. Oh, wait, going around the top. Right. Okay. Here we go. Hey now. How about that? There's our bolt. That'll go through there. That'll go through there. Don't move, don't move. That'll go through there. We have a bracket, people. Are you, are you kidding me? We have a bracket. Question is, how strong is it? It feels pretty good. It feels pretty good, but... Man, I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't want like a gusset right there. Something right there, something right there would be really nice. So I cleaned the, the bracket a little bit here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna burn these gussets on here. Just so this isn't, doesn't have any flap to it. Cause even though it is very strong, there's gonna be a lot of weight hanging from that and it is the brakes, right? I mean, we don't wanna go flying off the road yet. Ouch. Stay there. Eek. Stay there. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Hi, yeah, yeah, what a weld. Oh my god. Now those are some welds only a mother could love. Jeez. But there we go. Let's see how bad we warped it. Ah. Okay, here's our bracket still hot. Guys, I know the welds are horrendous. Get off my back already. I ground down the ones on the side. So, anyhow. With that, the important thing is, this piece is really strong now. This way. Okay, it won't bend this way, so I think we're okay. So what the plan is now, we want to mount the proportioning valve like this as far forward no that's wrong like this as far forward as we could push it so we can get that rear brake line in hopefully so let's drill these holes so that's where we want it just like that I don't know about you, but I don't have the patience to let paint dry. So here we, I mean, what are we, broads? Let's get this, bra here's the bracket, by the way, all done, painted up. Woo, I know, I know. Okay, so let's get this mounted. How does this go again? Mounted like this. No, mounted like this. Here we go. That's the other one. There we go. We got our proportioning valve bracket, which we will install. We installed it the wrong way. <laughs> I was so stupid. Oh boy. There we have it. Okay. Now we mount the master cylinder back in the car and this around the master cylinder. Let's do it. We 
We are very proud of that bracket, aren't we? It's good and strong. It'll do exactly what we want it to do. And it doesn't look like hell. Oh, ver see, step one. Next step is we got the proportioning valve in. We got to get the line lock in. And do I, can, will I be able to route to that rear brake? I should be able to route to that. Do I got enough room back here? Oh, it's tight. It's tight. I think we got enough room. We'll be okay. All right. We have our, our proportioning valve in. And before we fabricate any brake lines, we got to install this bad girl right here. This is a line lock, also known as a burnout box. And what this very simply does is it takes the front brake line from the proportioning valve, you plumb it into here, and then from, the, this is the input port, these are the output ports, there's three, you plug one of them and then you run uh, a, a line to each brake caliper up front. So, and then you hook up a switch, you press the switch, it locks up the front tires, so you could basically do amazing burnouts and get all the checks. You understand? Listen, it's all about sounding good. Uh, it's, it's about a high lobe cam and doing burnouts and the chicks come running. They're throwing their panties through the window of the car. This is what we're talking about, guys. All right, so we're gonna hook this up and it also alleviates the stress on the, uh, uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. All right, so I was, initially I was thinking we install this right here. But, because that's real convenient. Oh, it's so close to the proportioning valve. But, uh, being that we have no in, in a fender well, I was afraid rocks were gonna kick up and hit our brake lines and whatnot and make this all filthy, dirty and, and whatnot. And we don't need that. So I figure since, <clears throat> just by nature of the fact that this this valve block here works like a T automatically. We'll use this as a T, mount it here, and then we can route our brake lines off of this. And mount it right here on the firewall, which is kind of out of the way, just lower than the, the master cylinder so we don't have any bleeding issues. I don't know if you guys can see it from there. Kind of like that. I think that'll work really well. And then we just run the wires right through the firewall and hook up a switch inside the car. All right, let's do it. Guys, can I tell you what my favorite tool is since I've been working on this car? It is a silver metallic Sharpie marker. For marking on black, I mean, it's a dream come true. Here, we got this brake line here. We'll pull this out of this brake line holder get out of the way because we're going to have to replace it anyhow. So I guess we'll try to mount this as far down as we can. Maybe right there. I think that that would be good right there. We don't want to interfere with the engine at all. Maybe right there. Huh? Yes. Mark this here. Here. In there. Let's see. I honestly don't know what we're drilling into. <laughs> See how crooked that is. Oh, it's not. It's straight. Amazing. All right, great. So that's it. As far as these brakes go, every component that we want installed is installed. So it's time to 
get a flaring tool <laughs> and then we start making break lines it's gonna be easy guys it's gonna be easy don't worry all right 